The Arts and Studio Tour is an opportunity for the public to see just what we artisans are doing. Not just what we make, but where we make it, how we make it, what goes on in our whole lifestyle. This is like a glimpse behind the scenes. 1994, when we started, we were a small group, mostly Charlottesville-centric group, and we thought this was a way to educate the public. We had about eight studios and maybe 12 artisans, and it grew, it consistently grew now to be 46 artisans and 25 studios. So we're really proud of, of that growth. We use the term artisans for the studio tour because we aren't doing what I call flat art. I would say painting, drawing, printmaking, photography, these are not included. What we do include are three-dimensional crafts, woodworking, jewelers, fiber workers. We have lots of pottery. Coming back for a second year is Kathy Vaughn, and she works in metal, so she's working in copper. Last year was my first year at the Artisan Studio Tour in Charlottesville, and it was a really wonderful experience. It's different from a traditional craft show in that you are actually inside of an artist studio, so you, can, you have an opportunity to see the tools that they use to make what they make. You have an opportunity for a one-on-one -on -one conversation. It gives me a chance to talk to people who are interested in my work and just be in the company of other artists who are working at a very high level. I like to do things that are functional, that people can use. And the other thing that I work with is flat copper, and I use live leaves with the copper to react to make images on copper. Something that looks a little bit like a painting, but there's no pigment involved. It's all a chemical reaction between the acids that I use, the leaves themselves, and the copper. And I just like things that sort of spark joy and just inspire people to say, I wonder how she made that. The Artists and Studio Tour has been going on for 25 years now, and we've been a member of the tour for about 11 years. Here at Tide River Pottery, we make functional wood-fired stoneware. Everything from four-inch tea bowls to four-foot-tall bases. And they are wood-fired in a large Anagama Japanese-style kiln for five days to 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit. Everything we make is functional. It's food safe, it's dishwasher safe, it's microwave safe. Some of it is used for serving, storing, and cooking, and some of it is used for arranging flowers or contemplation or outdoor landscaping. When people come to Tide River for the artisan's tour, they will see the kiln being fired. We'll be in the midst of uh, six days of firing the kiln 24-7. They'll have an opportunity to look in the firebox and see molten white pots as they're being fired and then come in the studio and see finished work and hopefully purchase and understand more about why people are makers. Yeah, shows are a great way for us to, you know, be there in person next to our work and really kind of showcase who we are and what we do. Most of the tour artisans do not have open studio hours where you can just drop in. So if you want to see where it's made, how it's made, what tools are used, where we get our materials. This is a chance to talk to the artisan. Phoenix Handcraft is a architectural design firm, pretty much, is how I like to think of it. We're design build. We're artists making one-of-a-kind objects to fit your need, be it a staircase or a dining room table or a hall bench or a mosaic backsplash or just decorative art that you want in your home to make your walls look better. I'm really excited about this particular project that Kyle and I are doing because it's something that's very unique to our company. We um, have this little tagline under our logo that says metal mosaics and wood because it's the only way that we could figure out to wrap it all up. What do we do? Who are we? So this particular project, we're making a set of drawer pulls that are made out of metal and they have a mosaic inlay. So in the end, we'll have what is a very colorful, tactile object for something that's not usually. 
We're really excited about the Artisan Studio Tour. This is our first year. My favorite part about it is that you actually get to come into the Artisan's studios and see where they work, see what they do, see their tools, get like a first person experience of what it's like to be the Artisan. It's not just a craft show. You can get in these people's studios, you can see them work, meet them, see the space where they work in. I think that's really important. And it's an opportunity for a dialogue to, to take place between consumers and we makers that just doesn't happen in, in a retail experience. There's also a big difference between looking at a photo of something online or on our website or social media and actually seeing it in person. And then it's just nice to talk to people. <laughs> and sort of create more community and in-person connections. I think that working in Virginia as an artist is a really wonderful thing because there are so many people in the community in Charlottesville and Richmond, uh, just all over the state who are very interested in art. Um, they're very interested in seeing and supporting what people do in the community. The tour is free and it's open to the public and you can bring your kids and you can expose your children to something they won't see every day. They won't see when they go to the mall. They won't see when they walk downtown. Come for the weekend. See all of us. Don't try to do it in one day. It's too much to cover. There are 25 studios this year for our 25th anniversary tour and 46 artisans. That's a lot to see. Mm -hmm.